Welcome back to Jenny's Kitchen. Oh my gosh, I had to do this video just because there's people that like red salsa and there's people that like green salsas. So I'm gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna show you how I make my green salsa and my red salsa and then you guys will decide. All right, well let's get started. So first step with the red salsa, we're gonna roast them or char them. We're gonna put them on the comal and then we're also gonna char the garlic and the onion. For three tomatoes, I'm just gonna use a piece of onion, and this is really your choice. Again, I always say, if you guys like a lot of onion, then use a lot of onion. If you guys like to use a little bit of onion, then it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna use this size for three tomatoes. So I'm gonna put it face down, and now the garlic. For uh, I'm gonna be using three garlic cloves, for this one. And the fastest way, like I've showed you before, this is how I like to peel my garlic. Just like that. You see how easy that was? It's gonna crack it open, but it's okay. Look how fast I peeled it. Put them in the comal. All right, let me peel the rest. While we wait for the red tomatoes to be a little bit charred or a little bit roasted, we're also gonna wait on the the chile de arbol because you don't want your house to smoke up you want to leave those to the end but meanwhile for the green salsa now you want to make sure that you peel your tomatillos and we have to wash them so let let me peel all of the tomatillos right now right now i'm just going to be using six of the tomatillos because they're pretty big and um, they're a little sticky so it's one of the things that uh, you want to make sure that you wash them before you boil them so now I already washed my tomatillos and I already added a little bit of water. If you can see, just enough to cover the uh, tomatillos. And now we're gonna put them on the stove. We're gonna boil them, but we are going to keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burst. That's one of the things that I've always told everybody. You don't want your tomatillo salsa to come out that uh, like bitter, amarga. Do not let them burst. That's one of the number one tips. Just as soon as they, they start turning brown, turn it off and let them finish cooking in the water. All right, so we're gonna start on the green salsa because we're still waiting on the tomatoes to char up. And this one is actually really fast. So we're gonna use half of a bunch of a cilantro and we're waiting for the tomatillos to also cook. And we're gonna keep an eye on those because again, we don't want them to burst. All right, let me get my knife and we're gonna use one large avocado. Look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, so now we're just gonna spoon our avocado out with a spoon. And this one's a little hard, but it's okay because we're gonna blend it. All right, and I like to use fresh serranos to my green salsa because when I cook mine or I boil it, for me, it just changes the flavor. But that's just me personally. And I can already smell these. Estos están picosos. All right. So let me add my garlic. And these are so pretty. I like the color of the purple on these uh, garlics. Usually, I'm so used to the white, but um, these are really pretty. Uh, they have like a flavor more like a like a like a scallion. Or no? No, is it a scallion? Or a shallot, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you see, my daughter knows more than me. Now let's put a piece of the onion. And I'm just gonna, since this onion is so big, I'm just using this amount. So a quarter of the large onion. And let's clean our station. All right, let's check on our tomatillos. And I rinsed all the water out just because the tomatillos retain the liquid inside. So there's no need for you to add any more water. You guys already know, I add chicken bouillon to all of my salsas, all of my chiles. I'm gonna add two tablespoons to mine and it's ready to blend. All right, so now we're ready to blend. All right, so we are done and now we're ready to make the red salsa. So now let's serve this out. Look how pretty that looks. All right, so back to the red salsa. We're just gonna remove the little stems or the little tail of the chile de arbol. And again, you can use 10 chiles or you could use five chiles or a hundred. <laughs> it's your salsa. I'm gonna be using, for three tomatoes that I have, I think I'm gonna be using probably like 15 chiles. 
And my tomatoes are ready, so now we're just gonna roast these right now. So now we're gonna add chicken bouillon. <clears throat> you see? I'm already choking. The smoke of the chile creeps up on you. And you might need to add a little bit of water to this one, but we're gonna test it first. Let me go get my lid. All right, so now let's start this. There we go, no water needed. This one is, oh, this one's ready. And be very careful when you always open a lid, especially when you see those fumes because it could be deadly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you could get a cough attack. Look how pretty that is. Listo! All right, guys, we made our green salsa and our red salsa. What team are you in? Green or red? I can't decide. This is why I need you guys to be my judges. All right, let's try them out. Which one did you like? I'm a green salsa type of person. Am I green? Mm -hmm. yeah. So good. So good. And it's funny that when I'm eating, I, and there is plenty of choices of salsas, I would want to try every salsa that there is available to me. Mm. I like them both because this one has the burnt char flavor and then this one has the creaminess of the avocado and the cilantro. I can't decide, but go ahead and leave me a comment. Which one's your favorite, green or red? Thank you so much. If you like my video, don't forget to give it that like and I'll see you next time. Bye.